Dana, uh, first half, second half, offensively. Yeah, not good. Um, good in the first half. Not good in the second half. You know, I just told the team, I was like, this is Big 12 football. This is the second Big 12 football game where we competed and first half was, you know, was good, you know, competitive. Uh, if we do things better defensively and on special teams in the first half, then we, we get a lead. Now, can we sustain that lead? You know, hopefully at some point we'll be able to figure that out. But, you know, uh, it's the second time we've got wore out in the second half. You know, it's Big 12 football. We've got seven more of them, you know, so, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. Uh, we will assess it on Monday and, uh, you know, get a week to figure it out. Um, special teams have been, but to this point, they've done well, and then they get they the break off. Yeah, they've been good for four years in four games, right? So they got coaches too. They got they got good coaches. Kenny Perry's a really good special special teams coordinator that we've coached against for years, you know. And so it wasn't it wasn't any, it wasn't schematically. It was just you know they just they they got after us. You know their specialists were incredibly good. Uh, they did a better job of kicking and blocking and tackling, you know, and, and, and it was it was as bad as we've had since we've been here. Did you line up differently on that punt? Did y'all have We did not. Okay. We um, did not. I mean that's that kid made a good play. You know, the op time was a little slow. The left wing didn't hold his ground. I mean there's several things that happens. It's the first punt we've had blocked in five years. It's not our scheme. You um from Donovan coming out, I mean, you talked about getting the offense fast start. You guys get that. Was it other than the the wearing down second half? Did, did they do anything? Look like there was maybe some more pressure on him, or did you feel like it was just nah, kind of lights up? So they they quit pressure us. Actually, we hit them on. They, they pressured us a couple of times, and we hit them on some big plays. Uh, we had opportunities to make a couple of big plays in the third quarter, and we did not. You know, I thought Donovan hung in there. You know, as the game went on, the pocket started collapsing. He started getting uncomfortable. Uh, you know, did we wear out? I don't probably. You know, did uh, they turn things up? Probably. They've been playing Power Five football for a long time here. You know, and they have Power Five bodies. A lot of them. They're well coached. They needed a win, you know. So, you know, this one meant a lot to them. Uh, you know, we, we got to do better, you know. I thought we had a good plan. I thought we came in, we we're ready to play. First half, you know, was pretty entertaining. Uh, just didn't get it done in the second half. From a uh, <clears throat> from a defensive standpoint, Dana, uh, they broke all some some explosives. There were some plays that they. Broke a tackle. The, it's the missed tackles. Tower. Yeah, it's missed tackles. It is flat out missed tackles. It started on the opening kickoff, which is full of all defensive people. We missed a lot of tackles, and there is plenty of blame to go around. I mean, look at me and blame me and coaches and offense and defense and special teams. There's plenty of there's plenty of blame to go around. But to answer your question, it started on the first kickoff. We had we had missed tackles on the opening kickoff, which was a heck of a kick by Jack. Is two yards into the end zone on the by the pylon. I mean, that guy's got to go a long ways to get out. We had him. We could have had him pinned inside the ten yard line. You know, I mean, it's bad. it's missed tackles. It's bad. Didn't get you know stuck on blocks. Not getting off blocks. And then just carried over defensively with the entire first half. We were stuck on blocks, and we missed tackles. You know, uh, you know they started going into four minute mode a little bit. So we got a couple of stops, but then we decided to quit missing tackles again. You know, so yeah, it's disappointing. 12 days now until the next game. Is this a chance to, I don't want to use the word reflection, but I mean, do you get a chance to really look look at things, dive into things, kind of take a take a step back and yeah, see the picture? That, yeah, that's every everybody's, when they have an opportunity to do that, which clearly this is an opportunity to do that, we will certainly assess where we're at. There's also a, a player development aspect to having a couple of days to be able to work you know, younger kids and inexperienced kids, which we need to continue to do that to get guys ready to play in four games or, or more if freshmen 
develop into what we think can help us potentially at any spot. Um, there's recruiting. You got to spend a couple of days getting out recruiting, you know, and then you got to get back to work on what's going to amount to Saturday morning for game week, you know. So there's a lot to do, and there's not enough to time to do it. But yes, we will do all that to the to the best of our abilities. If you look at a positive, you got Brian Henry involved, Dalton Cards, and then Sam has another big one, Man Jack. So it looks like I mean the guys, some guys that have emerged, you know, have started to do something that some other ones. It was clicking now. I mean. It was clicking in the first half. I you know, wish we could have made a field goal, got a little momentum there to score 31 points in the first half. I mean, that's where it's at. Now, that that doesn't make up for what, what I looked at in the second half, but it was a step in the right direction. You know, I thought Donovan handled this entire situation very good, very well. It's tough for him now. Those were all his teammates last year in this game. Um, but I thought he played well and handled things well and, you know, you know, kept the focus on his play in, in our team with everything around him and who he was looking at and all that. I was very proud of Donovan. We got to play better around him. You know, first half good, second half not good. You know, so why? I don't I don't know. It wore, it wore us out. I'll look at it and dissect it and have some better answers the next time we talk. Y'all almost stopped him on that fourth down where he gets kind of a second effort. You want, you have your fourth down moment. It's sort of Another one. Another one. It's disappointing. We put a lot of work into it, you know. Thought we had it schemed up good. Now they're thick in the middle. I mean, we knew they were thick in the middle. We weren't quarterback sneaking because they were thick. But we felt like we could uh, add some gaps on the on the edges and create some movement. I thought we should have got it on third and two. Tony didn't pick his feet up and we fell and he, his knee went down. He should have had the first, we had picked his feet up. So it gave us a little confidence in calling it again and it just gets stuffed. I mean, it's disappointing. We focused on fourth and short. We focused about those situations and you know, playing playing good teams with with D tackles that are three hundred and fifteen pounds and fifth and sixth year all big twelve people. I mean looks like they got they, they looks like they won the battle.